In this video, we're going to look at trigonometric ratios for some common angles. Angles like 0, pi by 6, pi by 4 and so on. We look at their trigonometric ratios, their sine, cos and tan. We're not going to memorize these values. Using basic geometry, we'll try to prove all of these values. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Let's set things up. This is x axis, y axis and a unit circle. The center is origin. This is 0, 0 and the radius is one unit. Okay. Now let's look at a point on this circle. Let's look at this point. This point will have some coordinates. It's X coordinate and Y coordinate. The way we have defined trigonometric ratios is following. The X coordinate is the cos of an angle and the Y coordinate is the sine of an angle. Now, which angle? The angle that this line makes with the X axis. So the next time we want to figure out cos and sine of an angle, we look at the point that the line makes with this unit circle and find the coordinates of that point. To find the ratio, find the point. All right. So now let's use this to find the coordinates of some special points. Let's look at this point. The coordinates are one comma zero. This means the X coordinate is one and the Y coordinate is zero. This point is zero comma one. This is minus one comma zero and this is 0, minus 1. Using these four points, we can figure out the cos and sine of four angles. Which angles? Well, this line makes 0 degrees with x axis. So using this, we know cos of 0 and sine of 0. Cos 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0. So next time you're forgetting which one's which, try imagining the unit circle. Similarly, this one is pi by 2, 90 degrees. So cos 90 is 0 and sine 90 is 1. This one is pi, cos pi is minus 1, sine pi is 0. This one is 3 pi by 2. Or we can also call this minus pi by 2 if we move in this direction. So cos minus pi by 2 or cos 3 pi by 2 both mean the same thing. That's 0 and sine minus pi by 2 is minus 1. All right. So we have four angles sorted. Let's take some more points to figure out some more angles. Let's look at this point. If you join this point with the origin, this line will make an angle of 45 degrees or pi by four, which means the coordinates of this point will give us cos pi by four and sine pi by four. Now pause the video and try figuring out the coordinates of this point. Okay, so let's do this together. If we have this point above the X axis, we have a similar point below the X axis. If you join these two, this is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. How's that so? Let's join these two points with the origin. We get this as the radius and this as the radius. Now look at this triangle. This angle is 45 degrees. This is also 45 degrees because it's the mirror image. 45 plus 45 is 90. So we have a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, this length is one, this length is one, and we need to figure out this length. This is the hypotenuse. This will give us one of these coordinates. Let's bring this triangle out. Now we can figure this out using Pythagoras theorem. That's going to be square root of two, root two. That's the length of this hypotenuse. Root two is the length between this point and this point, but we only need half of it. So we'll split this. So half of it is one by root two, one by root two. And we also need this length. So we can get this length by joining this point and this point. Let's do that. This is also a right angled isosceles triangle. This is 45, 45 and 90. So if this is one by root two, this is also one by root two. This gives us the coordinates of this point. Bringing it back, we can see that this is one by root two and this is one by root two. So we have finally figured out the coordinates of this point. Its X coordinate is one by root two and its Y coordinate is also one by root two. And this gives us cos and sine of pi by four. Now let's move to 30 degrees or pi by six. This is the unit circle and this point if you join this with this origin, the line will make an angle of 30 degrees or pi by six. So the coordinates of this point will give us cos pi by six and sine pi by six. Now pause the video, try figuring out cos and sine of pi by six using this unit circle. All right, let's do this together. If you find its mirror image, it's here. And if we join them, this is what we get. Now let's join this with this origin. We get this triangle. What are the angles of this triangle? What are the sides of this triangle? So if this angle is 30 degrees, this is also 30, 30 and 30 is 60. 
or pi by 3. So this angle is pi by 3. What about these other two angles? Let's bring this triangle out. This is the blue length and these are the other two. Now in this triangle, these white sides are equal, which means the angles corresponding are also equal. So if this is pi by 3 and these two angles are equal, when you solve for these two angles, you'll realize that these two are also 60 degree. All three angles are pi by 3, which makes this triangle an equilateral triangle. This will help us find the blue side. So if this is 1 and this is 1, which means these two sides are 1, which makes this side also equal to 1. We only need half of it, so let's split it. This one is half, this is also half. We've got one of the coordinates and to figure out the other one, we need to draw a perpendicular. How do we figure out this green length? Well, we can use Pythagoras theorem. This is 90 degrees, this is 1 and this is half. So using Pythagoras theorem, we'll get this green length as root 3 by 2, which means this length is root 3 by 2. Using these two, we get the coordinates of this point. They are root 3 by 2 and half. The x coordinate is root 3 by 2 and y coordinate is half. This gives us the coordinate of this point, which means this also gives us the cos and sine of pi by 6. So cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 and sine pi by 6 is half. Now because this triangle also has pi by 3, which is 60 degrees, we can use the same triangle to figure out cos and sine of pi by 3. Can you figure it out? Pause the video, think about it. How will you find cos and sine of pi by 3? Let's do this together. Let's move this triangle and place it on the x-axis like this. Is the same triangle, the same lens. What are the cos and sine of pi by 3? Well, to get that, we need the unit circle. On this unit circle, we have this point that makes an angle of pi by 3 with the x-axis. So the coordinates of this point will give us cos and sine of pi by 3. And what are the coordinates? Its x-coordinate is half and its y-coordinate is root 3 by 2. x-coordinate half and y-coordinate root 3 by 2. This means we also know the cos and sine of pi by 3. Let's bring everything together. In this video, we have figured out some important points. We know this one, this, this, and this. 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, and 0, minus 1. We also figure out three more points. This one right in the middle, that's pi by 4. The coordinates are 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2. We have two more angles, 30 and 60. Pi by 6 is here and pi by 3 is here. The coordinates are root 3 by 2, comma half and half comma root 3 by 2. Now that we have all the points and their coordinates, let's make the table that we saw at the beginning of this video. We have these angles, 0, pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. And we need to find sine, cos and tan. Now you can fill out this table yourself. Pause the video. Okay, let's do this together. When we talk about sine, we're talking about the y coordinates. So to figure out sine, only look at the y coordinate. For 0, what's the y coordinate? That's 0. What's the y coordinate here? That's 1. So for 90 or pi by 2, sine is 1. What's sine of pi? That's the y coordinate. That's 0. What's sine of 3 pi by 2? That's minus 1. And what's sine of 2 pi? That's 0 again. What's sine of pi by 4? That's 1 by root 2. Sine pi by 6 is half and sine pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. Using the same logic, we can figure out their cos. Cos of 0 is 1. Cos of pi by 2 is 0. Cos of pi is minus 1. Cos of 3 pi by 2 is 0. And cos of 2 pi is 1 again. Cos of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Cos of pi by 6 is root 3 by 2. Cos of pi by 3 is half. So we have sine and cos from the coordinates and we can figure out tan because tan is the ratio of sine and cos. So let's wrap this up. Sine by cos is tan. So 0 by 1 is tan of 0. That's 0. Tan pi by 6 is half by root 3 by 2. That's 1 by root 3. Tan pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2. That's 1. Tan pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 by half. That's root 3. Tan pi by 2 is 1 by 0. Well, nothing can be divided by 0, so this is not defined. Tan pi by 2 is not defined. Tan of pi is 0 by minus 1, that's 0. Tan 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 by 0. Again, division by 0 is not defined. 
and finally tan 2 pi is 0 by 1 that's 0. So using this unit circle we have the sine, cos and tan of some famous or common angles.